on to news of COVID-19. DHEC held their bi-weekly press conference today. The Director of Public Health, Dr. Brandon Traxler, discussed the test to stay program that we first told you about yesterday. Now, under this plan, an unvaccinated student who has had contact with someone with COVID-19 would not have to quarantine. Instead, that student would be required to wear a mask for 10 days and get a COVID test between five to seven days after exposure. This has raised some questions about the possibility of students being infectious in class for several days before getting tested. This is one part of a layered approach. So test huh? to stay includes the word test and that is a very integral part. You have to do the test or, or else um, it won't work. But the other integral parts are certainly monitoring for symptoms and staying home if you have symptoms because we know that those are the ones that are even more at risk of testing positive. And then the other big thing is wearing a mask. Um, okay. these, these children will have to wear a mask for the 10 days that would otherwise be their quarantine, you know, the full quarantine duration. And so that significantly minimizes, if they're wearing that mask correctly and consistently, that significantly minimizes, even if they are infected, the risk that they um, spread it to others. Dr. Traxler also said these steps will bring the risk down to acceptable levels when compared to the benefits of keeping children in the classroom. The number of deaths due to COVID-19 remains high, but health officials say that the rate of new cases is gradually dropping. Today, DHEC is reporting 4,860 new cases and 101 additional virus-related deaths. Data shows that last week, a pediatric patient died due to COVID-19 in Dorchester County. The percent positive rate is 33.6%, which means more than one out of every three tests is returning a positive result.